Schultz in the Bay. We
lesson everybody concerned about the Pope resign. Well, he might die before he resign. I don't know. But that ain't gonna scare me if he die. And if you resign. Shut the world. First time in about 600 years a Pope ever resigned. I don't know what he's scared of the devil. He just got a, another portion of Satan in it. He, and the next one might be full of colony. This folk seal got to be fulfilled. All the way. <coughs> Mixed color hearts. Right. <coughs> so all that was white, black, and red made a pair of hearts. This is what people want now. They want preachers that are mixed. Yeah, right. And all preachers are telling that it is. Hey, I'm saying, let the word go where it go. They want to mix. You can have a little bit of this and do a little bit of this and play a little bit of that and do that. They want to mix. People love mix the pastors. Be on the women's side of course and be on the men's side of course. Who want to be on God's side? That's what we all need. So tonight... <laughs> You make the service. Is it not warm enough? Amen. If you're cold, let me see the hands cold. All I can do is sit in there as easy. Trying to get my throat right. Because I'm going to preach tonight. God called me to preach. If you notice a gift or work, whether you're sick, whatever. Y'all, you people that's talented and got gifts, remember the prophet when he got in that um, car accident. From what I understand, me was dead. Yes, sir. That's what I understand. He prayed for that gift of God. 
she come back alive. Yes. So if God can bring a, a, a dead person back to life yes, with the gift that he had, what about you and your sickness? Yeah. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to let the Lord use you. You sit back there and pet that old sickness. You pet everything. You won't say, and the Lord doesn't move on you. You won't say amen. You, you keep your arms like that, and you'll have a sad, frowning face. Some God, people put in God, put in here to say amen. And when you ain't saying amen, it's so wrong. I want you to notice some things tonight in this prophecy that I want to deal with. Brother Brandon made a statement that there will be a Pope come out of the USA. Now, will it be the next one? I don't know. They are several priests and different ones that they're looking at. Um, from what I understand, they got one in Ghana. They're looking close at him because, remember, Ghana is the gold coast. Brother Jim said they don't need permits and things. When they go in there and get gold, he said they just, they just walk on the airplane. No check on that. Can it back to the pool. Wrong. So tonight, where are we at? People should get concerned because who will the next one be? If the Pope is not my sign, it will is the sign. I don't care who, what archbishop, what priest, what Pope, whoever go in there. I want to be caught up in the rapture. Will this Pope here next? Bring it the past of Brother Brown prophecy. I don't know. Will this one come out what country? From what I understand now, this, this earth is a Poland pole. Alright, I'm going to show you some things because the love of money is the root of all evil. Yes, but we're going to need a pope. We're going to need somebody to combat communism. Yes, you see, can we unite some things together? Come on now. In my, I'm not gonna hold you that long. But this is a special, a special word tonight. It's a report. Amen. It, it don't come from Washington. It comes from glory.
Gabriel didn't deliver this special report. Michael didn't deliver this special report. Even though I played Wednesday night, how many remember that thing? Gave different ones, said, God, you see what's going on? Even run for it, said, look at that. I'll sink it. I did it in Noah Bay. He told Gabriel, one of them, put your shield, put your sword or something back in. This is a man sized job. I'm going down there. It's any kind of job, but this is a what? Man sized job. Notice it in this prophecy. The Bible, when the prophet of God preached on the first seal, this was a man-sized job. This was not a church age message preaching, but the Bible said in Revelation 6, 1 and 2, and the Lamb opens the first seal. But the Lamb had to have a body of flesh. God had to have a body of flesh, flesh the same to it. God had to have a body of flesh to preach to it. So watch this prophecy. Will this Pope come out of the United States? Now, pray I want you to be familiar with something. Now, your friends in school, one thing they got, they got singing, and you can't beat them singing. But as far as the prophets, and they don't learn about prophets. They keyed up on themselves. Then the great tribulation can strike them, and they're not knowing where they at. Young people, you can say, well, the nomination doing so good, they got a voice, they got, they got all that, but they don't, do not have prophecy. They will not go in the rapture. They do not have the Holy Ghost. You said, I've seen them jump and shout. I've seen Balaam work signs. But even if it's false, it's false can be. The mama typed out a prophet, it is a letter prophet. Jesus said, St. John 8, chapter 31 and 32, verse, If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. Amen. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Amen. So that's what's going to free you through. Sure. Amen. I want you to notice something in this prophecy. Will this Pope next come out of the United States? Will he come together with the United States to fight communism? Remember, I showed you the film the other day when Reagan and the Pope came together Amen. to fight communism, and he's still mad about that because the Iron Curtain yes, sir. is broke down. Yes, sir. Now you remember, communism is is picking up a lot of nations. The Chinese government that we borrow money from, they are communists. Right. 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 Vietnam, yes. a lot of them communists. Right. They got a whole lot of common missing countries. We got a whole lot of countries behind us. But now the power of God preached the message called the contest. Right. This thing is getting down now. Why? Should Russia, a communism, blow up Rome? What value do they have in Rome? The power of God had seven visions. Why should Russia, a communism, system, blow the United States up? What value do they have in the United States? I must admit, the white man is real smart that is demon possessed. Watch are he going to hold his money. They can mess the economy up. Remember money, the Jews got the bonds and things. But Rome owned the gold. What is everybody so crazy or not so crazy? What well, everybody concerned or not, if I want gold. Okay. Well, our goal is 
system pass. What is going to arrive or rush it to get a don't care spirit of mind and start blowing up things? I think Timothy said the love of money is the root of all evil. Will Russia economy fall again? Something that you got to think about. Whatever do I want to be here when the bombs and I won't be here when the bombs start sagging. Now if you got your Bibles, if you know this here, false crisis and false prophet. They are two different groups. Christ, crisis, I thought it wasn't the one Christ, but they are crisis. False anointed ones. So these people are anointed. I want to show you in the words of these prophecies what they are anointed with. Some of them can do the same thing somewhat that the Lord will walk with you. So notice this. In the nomination, they jump it. They shout. Young people, they got more works than you. But they don't have the pillow of fire in the camp. Now notice this here. Let's get your church in, boo. You, you, you need something, you're going to grant it. 
You're going to pray for these things. But church, the hardship, don't get upset with nobody else because they have it and you do not have it. Your time is to pray. Your time is to pray, pray, pray till you see God do something. We ain't got money. Does a lot of people run out of money for bills? But what do we do? Pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. How many like it? 23, brother. I want to give a warning. This is the first thing before I get, it, get, it, get in this message. I want to give a warning right here. It, said, it says concerning the last days that because of abounding iniquity, the love of men will wax cold. The love of what? Now they must have been hot. But now they ain't finna hit that cold. <laughs> if, if a man sin or last age, self-love, and love for material things. Love for what? Yeah. Will take the place of the true love of God. Take the place. People will start missing church. Take the place. Come Come on. On. Material things. Yes, right. He believed the Lord and he did for our life. Take the place. It starts just in a little form. Yes, right. Like the cake around Palmer Run and Caliphill. Because people won't pray, we're supposed to be living of God. Not ourselves. Listen to this, in my prophecies. We need to guard against the power of sin. Number one, you can look at the Pope, but what are you doing? We need to guard against the power of sin. When have we got to the place we were ourselves today and should have prayed? We always been easy, bro. Nah. I'm about to tell you, most of you people, and it was you people, y'all don't want to let my heart you. Y'all want to let God pray and get down to business. Five and ten minutes prayer and run the rest of the way. We need to guard against the power of sin in these last days. So many are getting so hard. So what? Oh. People quit paying their tithes and paying the bills and still can't make it. They're not going to make it. It's why I ain't got enough money. Well, who will? It's time, brothers and sisters, to be real, genuine, praying Christians to God do something. I don't want to do it, then you will continue to scroll. My, all of my help come from the Lord. Whenever I You sure? No. Probably no. told I believe where's the night. That's what's wrong, too much fear. Oh. Come on. Come to it, All of my have come from the Lord. I need that. Yes, Whether I've got anything in my pocket or not got anything in my pocket, God gonna supply a yes, way yes. for my bills to be paid. Yes. Brother Ballard said he needed some money. A man brought him a bicycle. He painted it and sold it. Yes, Can't we see that it was the Lord? Yes. You ask God to send you somebody. Yes. Income tax, that, that. All that's good, but you need money now. Don't get caught up in material things that'll take you 
out of the will of God. Amen. I made it out of the poorest person in here. And if I made it, uneducated, no GED, no diploma, yes, yes. and if I made it by God's help, oh, and His will, yes. and you got a diploma, oh, so you got GED, so you got college, people and things. If I made it, what about you? Yes. I'm a witness. He has opened up the wonders of hell for yes, me. Yes. If you do it for me, you will do it for you. Amen. But get your mind on Christ Jesus. Yes. Get your mind on what he can do for you. Amen. Be what the Lord has made you. Before you can get the poor prophecy, please get this. Rarely is a sin. You, you might not open your mouth today, but if you've been rarely, you sin. You believe God? Yes, sir. Believe Him all the way. <laughs> you think you've been the first one ran out? No. You think you've been the first one they had caught, baby? Thank you, Lord. You think you've been the first one that didn't have light? Come on, brother. You think you've been the first one that cut the wall off? Y'all think it's going to be y'all the first one. You think you've been the first one that didn't have the furniture bill? But where do you go? Do you go to your mind? You've been to mess up. Go to the rock. Well, the trust in the Lord had to beat them before we get to the match. Uh, oh, yeah. We had scrubs. And they always been a flower, better be. I'll never forget when I was mine. I'm going to know how it's mine. It's coming at my first. I beat them to the shot at. My grandmama said. Look at that. There will be a lot of people in here who did good for the bride and never got born again. That's why I tell you, you can't put nobody out. I'll never forget it. No. I've been through struggles and I was a Christian. I was filled with the Holy Ghost. I had a little bit of wealth, but just didn't know how to use money in prayer. I had credit cards, I misused all. I had my wife's credit card. Misused all of them. I had a judgment or two against it. Tira, being young, won't everything. I can pay next week. Yeah, you tried. One girl told me at the bank to tell her, I live week by week. That's you. I'm not going to live week by week. I know better. I don't save me if it ain't nothing but $10 a week. I don't want to go back to the state I've been. But you know your bills. Come on. A warning against material things. Everybody ain't doing bad this month. And don't look at me because I know you ain't because I'm not. And a lot of you here ain't doing bad. A lot of you doing good. And a lot of you, if you don't get a dime of the 
man come back, you gonna still do good. That's right. But a lot of us all got to teach us to pray. Yes. We got to go through these things. Yes. We, we mishandle our finances. You about to work yourself in the next one go get paid. You sure want what you want. I don't hold mine and pay my bills. Then people call and write and aggravate me. A warning. Church, why would you go out and get $2,000 and be broke in two weeks? I always wanted this coat for $600. I always wanted these pair of boots for $300. That's nine right there. I don't care if I'm going to wind it back. That's another $300. I got what I'm saying. Up. What about you lay your debt to your bill? You can shout, pray, speak and talk, feel the spirit of God, but you ain't going nowhere. Do you pay your bills? No, speak loud. I'm standing for Jesus. I'm going to let the world go by. The last they want it. My material thing. I like that coat brother rig out. As soon as I get my hands on the I'm, I'm getting me a coat. I don't have a dime. You won't most of the time. You can't live in other people's realm. Ain't nobody looking out and dressing all the money. My God, he went and bought so much clothes. It's standard like that. Him and brother Fred, those are dressing fellas. As long as they pay their bills, if they. If they don't pay their bills, you need to take that, take that suit and learn some sense. You got people bragging on you, but what about God? The devil sitting there laughing. <laughs> look at that guy. Well, he ain't looking at the suit, hey man. She was shopping guy. Learn to pay your bills the last day. Yeah. Brother Bell said, I'm saying this for my own. Everybody's been down before. You always stay down. Yes, sir. I want individuals to so eat. We're going to have this and we're going to have this. They can wait. They didn't wait when you came to them. I'm still preaching the old time the gospel. Yeah. Still leaving holiness and clean and paying bills. My revelation will make you pay. Your make you shout, speaking tongue, and everything, and you don't want to pay nobody. Only the wicked will bar, but won't pay back. One thing I can say, you pay my cousin the other day. Oh, you pay him. Because he can't do it. Baby, you got a little piece. I promise me. You wouldn't have to wait. People act like they got to have a need. Now, if you want everybody in this church, any individual, you get income tax paid. Don't let nothing be over your head. That's right. Baby, my money. You should have known that from your body. This is my woman. Let's go to the church in book now. Everybody, um, everybody feel like I'm a nice pastor. Give us a nice. He's our pastor. I don't know about that. He teaches, he teaches us to pay our bills and we, and we don't want to pay them. They want to borrow from each other and feel like we forgot. 
Amen. Follow somebody every time you come in my presence. Something family. Do you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The preachers, teachers, and evangelists, man, I don't want to know no evangelists. God got to speak to me. For me, I don't want evangelists, man. Love brothers and bit. Evangelist is messing up the whole ministry. Oh, yeah. They don't like to pay nobody. Yeah. Stand in front of Jesus. And I'm going to let the world go back. I owe a man $3,000 years ago. He wasn't an evangelist. I had to spill him to get my money. He wanted to write it all these ways. No, 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 no. I want my money. You got some pastors there doing the same thing. Three thousand dollars down to you, they got a little bit of money. I would have took the money out of the bank, I think. And I told that back in 30 days. This is my warning. 30 days turned in about a year. But I stayed persistent. And I need my money. That's worked out. No, 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 no. Ain't no deals. I want my cash money. I ain't finna work out. No, 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 no. I don't want you to give me that. I want my money. Y'all hear me? If you owe people, pay them. Yeah. Fix the name for money, pay them. So that last day spirit won't get on you. You go by a friend who cause I know you owe somebody. Ah. And if you ain't got it, you can't tell the preachers to do that. They ain't gonna pay nobody. You can tell one brother about and say if you ain't got the coin, you think they're gonna pay that? No. They don't wanna pay nobody. I'm convinced. Because if you got the right spirit, you you go on call. That's right. If you got the right spirit, but when you don't want to pay nobody, you want all for nothing. If some people, they don't want, they want you to give it to them. Oh, yes. We got a preacher right now. He doesn't. The, pre the people said, the next time you preach somebody, let us know. We're going to call him. Ain't nobody from this year. But we gon' get it. Man gave him a car, he paid $100 and that was it. I mean, people doing all kinds of things. You keep promising I'm gonna pay every month. The money ain't came yet. Now he can't preach that God to provide a place of worship. I don't care how great his ministry is, pay people. Amen. Man got a mighty ministry, but he don't he won't pay nobody. I'm talking about a mighty man. I ain't talking about no weed. Shaking with a wind. I'm talking about a mighty man. But when it comes down to paying, <coughs> pay no attention. <laughs> Don't let your testimony be that you won't pay nobody. I've been down before. I owe people before. Yes, sir. If it took me a year, I wouldn't pay. I don't want to offer somebody something like the prophet that they ain't going to quarter. You crazy, brother, you'll go and you'll let man thousand dollars and go to him with a quarter. I'm doing what the word said. I said, I'm doing what the word said. One man told me when I was on marriage street, boy, he was mad at me, brother Black. He said, when I get things together on a paper time, I'm holding them down because he didn't agree with it. I let him know. I let people know hold them on. When they got the spirit right in, they're dying. Oh, no. We robbers. Ain't no better person than Brother Snob. He can tell that story how that man was shot. Thing like that. And ask him, when the last time he paid his tax? <laughs> Smile can tell that. <laughs> Bro, 
For God on the prayer. Wait a minute, God, I got a lot of you. You wait a minute, God. Let me get you out the way. The mortgage. You, you, God, you wait, God. Let's go. Everybody good enough. Everybody that don't pay tithes is good and upset. And if they ain't upset, they feel good. I don't have problems paying tithes. If I give a hundred thousand dollars, I just pay ten thousand. That's all. It don't bother me. But John, he got big money. He got big money. Five thousand dollars. But he got some money, so I got some tithes for you. Don't bother him. What five thousand gonna do to him? He got forty-five. And shout. <laughs> Don't be to be a big money and have a problem. Ooh. One thing I can say about Sister Helen, I'm bragging on her tonight. When she get big money, you know what she do? She pays her time. Some people, if they get big money today, it'll take them a month, and they're going to spend God money. And God won't bless them. Let me tell you what, you, you, I want you to understand. You're not hurting no pastors. No. Anywhere you go, you got to pay tithes. But I hate to leave a church and the people are like, what is that for? I said, they didn't want to pay tithes. That preacher back up right there. Because he knew the blessings of God can't be on the people. Young men, they go out and work and make ten dollars, but they don't want to pay a dollar. They don't want to pay a dime. They don't want to pay nothing on the time. All the little fellow folks do this. You won't get a blessing either. I'm standing for Jesus. I give wages two and three dollars. I ain't giving God no little TV money like that. Y'all hear me? Some of you, at the table you need to watch what you give. Because you, when you come to God, you give God less than you give away. Ooh, that would condemn me. Amen. I mean, that, that's all. Amen. I'm standing for Jesus. That's all. And I'm letting the world go by. Stop like this and keep a church in there. Come on, yeah. It'll make a good church. That's what he said, bro. When you start talking about these things like that, it'll make, it'll make some of them upset. But do yourself a favor and say, Lord, I'm wrong. Help me get right. God, he ain't up that big. No, I don't have a big. The Lord didn't bless me. I told y'all that y'all were paying me. I died. That's you and the Lord. But how can somebody preach you a blessing when I curse on you? Curse with a curse. I mean, think about it. How can somebody lay hands on you for sickness and the curse of God is on you? Just think about it. I can't afford not to pay time. Amen. You know, bless me. I don't see such blessing. I'm thinking now, Lord, I got so much, I don't even know where to start from. Look at this. My goodness. Now, you think I'm crazy, but I know what I'm talking about. I don't talk in the same sheet. Amen. Grant it, Lord. I don't talk in that the, the Lord pulled the woman over. Yeah, it's okay, Lord. Oh, mother, it's so weak. Yeah. As, yeah. as a man thinks, so is it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, I've seen him do it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. You want to prosper? This is the plan you can prosper. Just pay time to us. That, that, that's a plan. A big plan. Man. Any of y'all made a hundred thousand dollars this year?
Well, I ain't made no honey. He just gave me what he gave me. I ain't worked out me a honey. My wife tell me, you ought not get up there and tell them people things. I'm trying to get the people to catch the blessing. Because I want to way more than them. God's good, isn't he? Yeah. Let's go back to our room. Had to get off the road. Somebody needs to get back on the road. God trying to pull you. Well, you, better, you. You better listen. If you can't hurt God, you own all the silver, gold, and everything else. Lord, thank you, Lord. Y'all keep on praying for me. Yeah. Amen. I'm looking to give me some gold to Right. Oh, brother, give you praise. I'm looking to find me some. All right. And I may not share. Come on, brother. Because you are unbelievable. <laughs> because if a person, what well, God give a person if they ain't got no the right motive, God ain't in it no way. Brother Brown told the people to go down there and get that all they wouldn't go. Because their motive was wrong. I'm standing for Jesus. And let the world go by. Brother Jim and them, they ain't poor, Brother Jim. Oh, they were the gold coast act. They got plenty of gold. You know, go around people of parents. Right, brother. Yes, sir. But the reason why the Lord won't let people be blessed a lot of times, you know, take them from him completely. Amen. All of you fall away. Last day morning, this is material things. Amen. I got plenty of material things. I mean plenty, but I don't wash them up. And don't go after them. God just blesses me with them all the I ain't taking no second job. I can go to work. Well, I'm going to get to work for Trying to gain another dollar. Now you ain't me, you gonna work. The blessings of the Lord got to be on you. You can work yourself to death. Brother Mother, there ain't no work of in him. He used to work so much his wife used to call me because she couldn't get up time. Y'all don't know, Brother Mother, he was a workaholic. After he got through, he went to washing once. Bucking fools. A woman be tight. You married it should be tight. That's right. That's right. You can't give it all to her. Yeah, she needs love and affection. And she needs money dropping in her hand every night and week. To show that affection. Amen. Well, yeah. I think the young brothers need to get back and start carrying their wives to the beaches or whatever. Y'all used to do a while. Y'all broke a lot. Y'all get back and do something for the wives. Make them appreciate y'all.
Always. Oh, well, I give you some, some, some kindness and sweetness. What? Your eyes may glue in the words then. Don't keep the thing cold. Keep that thing lit. Y'all have it? Say, get you out of here. But we know y'all getting the whole line up. Valentine. She ain't think about no Valentine. 
I'm standing for Jesus. The last day morning. <laughs> Let's go, brother. Read it. Come on, So many are getting so hard because they haven't realized the effect of this last day spirit. It is time to draw nigh to God and let Him fill our lives with His love, or uh, we will feel the coldness of the last day church and reject the truth of God which alone is able to help us. Is he talking about the bride church or a normal church? You better read it again. The last day, bride church ain't got no coldness. Let's go over that again. So many are getting so hard because they haven't realized the effect of this last day spirit. Mm. It is time to draw the man of God. And let him fill our lives with his love. Or we will feel the coldness of the last day church. Thank you, Lord. Did the bride have the coldness? No, no sir. It ain't cold. Last day church. Lay on the seat. And reject the truth of God, which alone is able to help us. Do the bride reject the truth? No, no, We don't know. In those dark, dreadful years, the true vine held its love for God and love for the brother of the brother. God commended them for it. I know your servants, Jesus said. He that is greatest of all is servant to all. A wise man commended on that saying. Here's what he said. Only history will prove the truth of that victim. That man was right. All the truly great men of history have been servants. Have been what? Servants. They who demanded to be served. Mm. They who oppressed. They who sought to always be at the head. Mm. Have gone down in shame. Wow. Gone down! Even the very rich are commended, are condemned by God, but they have not used their wealth right. They are not right. Oh, no. But look into history, and you will find that the truly great were those who served up. History can never acclaim those for whom much was done. But it, it will forever praise those who did much for others. Right. Whatever what? Praise. 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 Now let us apply that to ourselves. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister. So we are to follow that example. See him as he bows himself over the feet of the apostles. Oh my. And washes their tired and dirty feet. Why? He said, You don't know now what I'm doing, but you will know hereafter. Why? But what you see me doing, you ought also to do. Yes, he became a servant in order that God could elevate him to the highest height. Why? And one day, in the judgment of the saints, we are going to hear him say, Well done. Well done. Good and faithful servant. Amen. It is out to the joy of the Lord. It is hard to be always a servant. Yes, it's what? Oh. Oh. It's what? Oh. 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 Because, because people don't want to be humble. They want somebody to look up to them instead of them looking up. I know many of them. Use the word. Yes, sir. No, sir. Man. Yes, ma'am. We was eating the basil today. There was a young girl who was a waitress. And she was so mad at my wife said, this girl's got mouths. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Because 
Order there, or you don't see? Yes, man. No man. Yes, sir. I've seen millionaires using that word. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. I got a multi-million lawyer. He used the common word, yes, ma'am. No, sir. Can I help? Not yeah. No. But those who spend and are spent for others will one day be treated with him who will be seated with him in his throne. It will be worth it all then. Let us labor for the master, for the dawn to the setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. And when all of life is over and our work on earth is done and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. I'll be what? I'm going to love you. Amen. In my closing, tonight, will this be the next pope come out the United States? I don't know. But I know it will be a pope. I know if it's not the seventh, not the eighth, it's coming. In my closing, whatever you do, whatever you say, keep your prayer life going. Thank you, Lord. Keep humility. Keep gentleness. Thank you, Lord. Somebody got to get off their hardness, especially you women. And my wife, the first one, she ain't gentle enough. You gotta be gentle. Yeah. A shame face. Yes. God is gentle. Yes, sir. Y'all yes, heard it? Yes, sir. God is what? Yes, sir. Oh, yes. I love this. Let's go to page 16 as I close out. Remember, Brother Mother's always quoted on page 88 the frivolous desire to please God, the passion to keep his word. We need to be more gentle. Yes, sir. It'll help our nerves and our face. We need to be more gentle. It'll stop these temper tangents. We need to be more gentle. Regardless of how circumstances go. Some of y'all the lawyers will make up too much yet. But they train to get you hot. <coughs> Got another victory. Amen. People don't want to hear about this. They think you're bragging when you have a money beat. No. Bagging on Jesus. Amen. That woman hit me and Brother Jim. The Lord showed me just how much that I should get. And they offered it to me. And I run with it. Yes, sir. Jesus is a way maker. Well, in my clothes, when you do things in yourself, you mess up. Be that relief in clothes. I'm finna go. Church, the Lord might be, they want me to get all the way involved in this. 
The Lord needs somebody to pay tithes and pay their bills. The Lord needs somebody to have a gentle spirit. Yes, sir. And have more love. Amen. And compassion. Yes, and help your brother and sister. You don't never know who you're going to need. That's it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. <sighs> Oh, yes. Read on. You will. You will recall that I mentioned at the beginning of this message that this book we are studying is the actual revelation of Jesus himself in the church and his work in the future ages. Then I mentioned that it takes the Holy Spirit to give us revelation. All we will fail to get it. Not a man. Yes. Bring these two thoughts together, you will see that it won't take just ordinary study and thinking to make this book real. You can't make this work. It is going to take the operation of the Holy Ghost. Yes. That means this book can't be revealed to anyone but a special class of people. Oh. Let's pick up the books. A special class. You special. You right. Y'all make no more joy. No. But we special. Come on, brothers. Y'all move slowly. Let's get these books out of the way. Special class. A beat. I'm going to thank God it's special. Steve, yeah. ain't you glad you're special? Special by the Lord. Amen. Church, a lot of times, you, you can be used to evangelistic messages and it's a good. But the, the, the church got to stay clean. I'm not ashamed of telling people they need to pay bills. I'm not ashamed of people. I don't preach on tithes every Thursday. And even preach on it. You'll never pay a little bit of me. But well, what about God? But that's up to you and the Lord. Brother Lamb, we teach here. You know how to do one thing. Don't pay me a dime. If you don't want to, if you want to, if you want to be cursed, don't give up. Dying in all things on time. The curse of God will follow you. You ain't got to worry about it. Ain't nobody gonna make it. But the curse of God. Watch things start breaking down. Watch things start getting in your body. You don't know what's going on. Watch all kinds of miseries and trouble. People say, ain't nothing happening to me. Give it the future. You don't know what's going to happen to you in the future. You don't know? Yes, sir. But God knows. Lord, you know. Well, I'm the right. Lord, you know the same. Well, I'm wrong. Lord, you know. Amen. We'll conclude our next promise and walk on this floor. Amen.
to that great shepherd of the sheep, the only one and true living God, may he keep you with the love of his word in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Once again, in your name we pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Christ, God has chosen.